Recently, Asahi Linux made their GPU drivers for Apple Silicon public. They're still in a very early state, but they're already good enough for desktop acceleration, simple games, and as we'll be talking about in this video, emulators. Indeed, today we're going to be trying out some emulators using the new Asahi GPU drivers on Asahi Linux. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. First, we're going to be doing some NES emulation using FCE UX. Now, NES emulation might seem basic, because frankly, it is. But this emulator is making use of the Asahi GPU drivers for OpenGL rendering. In fact, I can even play NES games using a scaler, which makes these games look frankly great. This is reasonably basic stuff, but for drivers that have had to be reverse engineered over the space of two years, I'm impressed. Next, I decided to step up to some SNES emulation using SNES 9X. Again, this was using OpenGL acceleration. This time, I decided to take advantage of the input lag reduction features available in SNES 9X. They all work using OpenGL, and it seemed to work pretty well. So far, so good for emulation on Asahi Linux. Next, I decided to try some PS1 emulation using RetroArch's PCSX rearmed core and OpenGL output. And what do you know? It works. Any operating system that can play Crash Bandicoot is a great operating system to me. And to be honest, I didn't even expect this to work. I didn't expect Asahi Linux's GPU drivers to be able to emulate any 3D games after only two years of work. This is really impressive stuff. After that, I tried some GameCube emulation using Dolphin. I didn't expect this to work, and sure enough, it didn't. I don't think that OpenGL is well supported enough for GameCube games just yet. To the Asahi driver's credit though, it is able to launch games, it's just not able to display any 3D stuff in-game. Which, to be fair, this is already more than I was expecting to work. Finally, I decided that I wanted to try out emulating a handheld console. For this, I decided to test out Game Boy Advance emulation using Visual Boy Advance. Surprisingly, the hardware acceleration mode didn't actually work with the Asahi GPU drivers. The emulator just crashed. When I tried it using software rendering, it seemed to work just fine. It's really weird that something as complex as PS1 emulation would work, whereas the Game Boy Advance doesn't. But I suppose that's the nature of in-development drivers. It can be hard to predict what's going to cause problems and what will work absolutely fine. With all that said though, that's all the testing that I've done so far. As you can see, Asahi Linux is already capable of most emulation up to the PS1, which is seriously impressive for GPU drivers that are only two years old. To be honest though, Apple Silicon is so powerful that I'd be surprised if a lot of emulators don't work using just software rendering. So, Install Asahi Linux and get to playing some classic games. Before you do though, like this video and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.